Uh, foreigners? Yes. I like some veal parmesan. Yes, veal parmesan. I know I'm saying it correctly. Okay, you know what? I'll try some other place. Bye. <laughs> well, Rick and Morty's back. So here I am doing another review. And because I'm using Comcast, I have to wait for it to come on Google Play. I would have had this done pretty much Sunday if I actually still had Adult Swim. Wow, this episode got very disturbing very quickly, right? I mean, yeah, it recycled quite a few Rick and Morty uh, tropes. Like, abandoning your reality and go to another reality. This episode takes place right after the conclusion of last season. Where Rick and Morty are still stuck. On what remains of the Citadel of Ricks. And, uh, yeah, we had quite a few kill count here, didn't we? I mean, first off, we had the Mortys basically devouring that Morty. That they went feral. And, of course, you know, we had Space Beth come back and she saved them from the wreckage. They immediately go down and Rick, of course, immediately wants to repair the fluid for interdimensional travel. Sadly, he screws up immediately. And they get sent back to their original universes. Like, uh, Morty got sent back to the Cronenberg universe. Rick got sent back to the universe where Beth doesn't exist anymore. And of course, Jerry got sent back to his universe. <laughs> yeah, that was a callback from season two when uh, Jerry got sent to Jerry Daycare. This was basically dealing with a lot of the sins from the series so thus far. Like Rick having to deal with the fact that his wife was killed. I especially love the fact that he actually created his own ghost of his wife who's always in another room telling him, Rick, did you find a killer of our daughter yet? We know you can do it. It's not your fault that I'm dead. I especially love the fact that out of a bit of sour grapes, he develops a machine that creates a permanent time loop for all the people on that universe. The problem is he forgot about uh, having a solution to prevent aging. So these people were completely senile, doing the same things over and over for about... Let's see, Beth is over 40, yeah, for over 40 years. <laughs> Morty go back to the Cronenberg universe. And sadly, we meet Jerry. Jerry is the sole survivor. Yeah, who would have thought the weakest character in all of Rick and Morty having to survive an entire apocalypse, eating what's ever left of humanity. That's all his food. I love the fact that he even tried uh, robbing Morty only to find out if Morty's broke as anything. And he also found out the reason why Rick actually went to that universe in the first place. You see, the person who killed Beth in his original reality, as well as Rick's wife, happened to be the Rick from the Cronenberg universe. And apparently he invented his own elaborate trap, I guess, in which he actually developed, I guess it has to be a clone, where it basically dances and makes fun of Rick, as well as all the monitor, video monitors. But let's face it, we see Rick's ass is basically uh, dancing in complete and absolute pettiness. There's not really much else to say here. I especially love the fact that Jerry's original universe, everyone was highly abusive. There was not one friendly thing that people said to each other, especially when it came to Jerry. We also found out what happened to uh, the, the original Jerry from season two. And now I got to talk about the most disturbing thing I've seen the whole thing. North America biting South America. Yes, this happened. At the end of the episode, North America bit South America. Mr. Frundles might be the most disturbing thing I think I've ever seen. They present it as a cute little triangle, but then it bit, bites the season two Jerry, and then it starts multiplying quickly, causing even inanimate objects, say like the house, become sentient. Ooh, I'm Mr. Frundles. Doesn't haunt your nightmares. I don't know what else to tell you. That was extremely disturbing. As I said, we had the Feral, Mortys. Fortunately, uh, the OG Jerry comes to an untimely end. Well, Rick and Morty's back. And I'm doing these reviews again. Now, we do know that the season's going to have 10 episodes, so I'll probably be doing about 10 of these. Maybe some will be on Facebook. Maybe. 
Anywho's, I'm going to get out of here. Goodbye.